Hello, uh, Guillermo Martinez here, and we're back, and we got some um, some things that been we get a lot of questions about, and the most one of the most common is how to adjust your saddle. Now, say this just came to me in the mail, and sometimes in in um, in shipping things are gonna get moved around, and so it's important to know how to that to know that it's in its right position because a native flute. Um, if you're not aware, it has two parts. It has the body and the bird. Now, you saw me just take it off. It's just a simple knot that would be attached. And you do not have to take the leather completely off. You just loosen it and, t and pull it off. And so you can see here very closely, you can see two holes and there's a groove in between. So this back one is your, your, your the, the one that's part of the pressure chamber where you blow in, you'll hear air coming out of there. And then so the, the saddle actually directs the air through that air channel and across this opening, hitting the fipple, which creates the whistle. So this is the whistle mechanism. Uh, this is known as the nest. This is the bird or the saddle. And you should always make sure it's clean. Not to say that if when it arrives you should take it apart because you probably don't have to but um, the important part is knowing the position so the the birds will have a the slot here that's called the chimney you notice it has a straight edge there that edge is going to line up to the back edge of the square hole or the sounding hole so the square one is the sounding hole the round one is different that's where the air comes out of or the part of the pressure chamber so it lines up flush to the edge. You don't go forward or you don't go too far back. It has to be right to the edge. Okay. Let the, get a good close up of that. Okay. So keeping my thumb on there, I'm going to pull tight on the two straps or the stirrups and then holding the flute under my arm. I am putting the square knot once again, and checking the positioning. So, perfect. So, um, as long as this is positioned right, there's no obstructions, no dust, no chips, or sometimes, you know, we could miss something. Not to say that we're perfect, but, you know, maybe something is in there and the flu doesn't play. But for the most part, we're, we're, I'm pretty good about that. And I check pretty much every flute. Well, I check every flute that comes out of here, so, and it should be playing properly. Take it off, take these off, clean, make sure everything's clean, position each bird in its nest, get it as close as you can to where it should be, pull the strap, make sure it's, the tension is kept tight, and make it snug, go back and check. And on these, make sure these are, these are flat. So what I like to do is like to push on them, holding the, the body and making sure that these are seated flat because I don't know if we can get a close up here. They could tilt like that and it creates a gap and they are not sealed, they're not sealing properly. So then put them back and Perfect. Okay. So we hope this you find this useful and uh, make sure that they're in the correct, correct positions, that there's no obstructions and any other problems are just going to be your, your fingerings, your fingers not covering the holes properly if you get any problems. But uh, we have videos for that and there's tutorials and there's people willing to teach you online. Uh, Rita. Uh, from Rita Sound Yoga on Instagram is a great teacher and she's uh, very reasonable. Okay, take care. Thank you.